Hi. I'm Denise. Um, I brought a picture of Wyatt. Oh. And because I used that for everything I was doing. Um, I'm here actually to talk about an event that I did for the walk, which is called, I did a Zumbathon. And uh, my twin sister, my identical twin sister, has a studio called Studio Sophia. It's a fitness center, but it's very small in Kenmore. And they did Pilates and yoga and personal training, and it's basically her. And uh, so she said, you know what, let's, let's do a fundraiser, you know, because I've been doing this for a couple of years, and I wanted to increase my, my uh, donations and all that. And I, I go on Facebook, and I have a Walk for Wyatt. Uh, autism awareness with the big picture of Wyatt, and I have everything, I send everything out, I send things to people so I can get sponsors and all that, so when I do my t-shirts and all that, I can, uh, you know, I, I get sponsors for my t-shirt. So that's basically what I do on Facebook. So we said, let's do a Zumbathon. So about two months prior to doing the Zumbathon, I ordered this banner, it was $22, including shipping and handling. And it looks like a road, and it's Walk for Wyatt. Okay, and I hung this up in her studio. And I had a picture of Wyatt on both ends. And uh, so I did this and had it hanging in her studio for a couple months. If you go, just Google banners and you can find it. Um, I did this little um, flyer and I stuck that up all over and I wrote a little letter and I mailed it out to people that I knew that had businesses and stuff like that to sponsor the t-shirts. And we hung these all over her studio. So now people are coming in, they're taking Zumba classes, they're doing Pilates, they see the banner, they're going, what's going on, whatever. So also <coughs> two months before, I found some friends that go on their personal training at her studio. And they go, we love doing baskets. Great. I brought in like six items I had in my house that I was never going to use, that I got either a gift or I bought or whatever I had. My husband bought me a stainless steel can opener. I don't know why. I only like manual ones. So I was little, that's all I used. I didn't want it. I gave it to these two women, and I gave her um, like photo frames, all these different kinds of weird items I had in my house that I didn't want. And uh, I gave her 50 bucks, and I gave her some of these items, and she made six baskets. And then, I had, and then other people, so I, but I set up tables now in her studio with the blue tablecloth. And they got the baskets done, and they're just putting them out. Okay, so, and then other people are coming in, oh, I'll do a basket, or I'll do a basket. So now I got Joby's restaurant, so I'm trying everything locally. They're making me baskets, gift certificates, massage people, anyone, because everyone who comes to Zumba, they're all, they all do something different, or Pilates, or whatever. They do different things. And they're like, okay, I'll just donate a basket. So now we have, like, so I'm, like, all these baskets, I said, well, now we're selling tickets. So now Deanne is coming up with, like, you get six for so many, or five for the... And, uh, and if you want a 50-50 split, she goes, I'm going to do a year membership free. Great. People, 10 bucks, they were paying for that. Um, and then while other people don't want to come to a Zumba them, but they were personally training with her, they would um, just say, can I just give you money? Yeah, she'd be like, okay. So we had, but I, put it, I didn't put it towards the Zumba thon final total, but there was a lot of people who were like, I don't want to come to the Zumba thon, but I'll give you the money. So they would just write me a check. And or some gave $100 cash. I'm like, oh my God, okay. And I'm like, this is great. So now the day of the event, I had my mother's an artist. She's a watercolorist. She did a beautiful painting. She was like, ah, I don't need this one anymore. I'm like, okay, mom. So we hung that up and we had like three big ticket items. It would spend even more money on it. I'm like, all right, and if you want these, you gotta pay more money. And people were paying, they were like, and then they're, now I got six teachers, they're all teaching Zumba, people are coming out, I gave them free water, we had food everywhere, fruit, wraps, whatever, for anyone to come in, and in these two hours, people are coming in and out of the place, and putting tickets in, my one girlfriend showed up exactly, at the end of the day at 4.30, she showed up at 4.30 just to put tickets in the thing and to win, she's like, it's the only chance she can make it, I have friends coming in from <coughs> Rochester for one hour doing it and leaving, I'm like, if you win, I'll let you know, and uh, it was it was unbelievable. It was just it's just the idea that we had it already out. People saw it. Everyone kept coming into the studio. And that day, I think it was nine hundred dollars, just for that day. But all total, at least fifteen or sixteen hundred for Deanna's studio, Studio Sophia. So it was really it was great. So and I always made sure I had a receipt for everyone to just take if they wanted to or whatever. But 
the idea was just to kind of show it out, and I also did it on Facebook. I did a, I did the two events, the one for Walk for Wyatt and then the Zumbathon. And everybody, so that way I had whoever wanted to do it this way with the walk, some who want to do the Zumbathon, because you've got to give people choices. A lot of people don't like to do these things. They don't want to get involved, and then you know the certain people who show up on that day to walk, you know, there's certain people who will do that. There's my physical therapist, it's like, I don't do walks. I'm like, I know, just sponsor the t-shirt, you know, because yeah. that's what he can do. And, and that's so you can't like push anybody, you can't do anything like that, you just want to, all right, well, what can you do? What can, you know? I mean, I, I, my sister Lisa has, I put displays in her, she's a nail technician, she does displays there. I've had my massage therapist, has a big jar of pitcher, people just put money in when they come in, they tip her and they tip me. It's very nice. So it's just like all good things because they're not going to come to the Zumbathon. They're not going to come to the walk, but they might give you a couple of bucks. So it's always just a little <coughs> things you can do here and there and letters and then phone calls once in a while. But really, you don't really need to do a lot of calls. It's really visual. Everything has to be visual for stuff like that. So I would try to find a facility that, you know, that you're friends with that might want to do something. If you go to some place that does your nails or, you know, haircut, and just get them involved maybe in some one day just say you know can you run this for two hours what can you do and that's that's what I did and we raised I think this year over five grand so my, my goal was three thousand so I did pretty good uh, yeah.